Hello everybody and welcome to Philbert Flies. Uh, this afternoon we are flying Jetstar Flight 224 from Queenstown uh, in New Zealand to Sydney in Australia. Glorious weather here in uh, Queenstown, less so in Sydney, so uh, make the most of it. There's going to be a lot of ocean today. Uh, we're going to see some of the Tasman Sea. Hopefully we'll see some ship traffic down there to help pass the time. But I don't know. I don't know. Yes, Ben, welcome. I'm ever so sorry. I, uh, the music was started late. Really unprofessional. I hold my health, myself to uh, higher standards than that, and I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, nice to see you here, though. I thought you were going to be at work. It's a nice surprise. Right, let's, uh, let's get some baggage on board, and we'll start uh, We'll start setting up. Hello, the Legend Z. Hello, Dr. Roblox Strange Gaming. Hello, Tukiem. Hello, Sanent. Hello, Caffle. Nice to see you here as well. Well, nice to see all of you here. But uh, the familiar face is even more so. <laughs> Hello, uh, Ruman. Nice to see you. Right, let's get on board. I've uh, We're connected to external power. I've done a little bit of setting up, but plenty more. Plenty more for you to watch and enjoy as we get this aircraft ready to go. Oh, 9 till 12. Nice. I don't know. For some reason, I assumed it was the afternoon. But uh, good. See so it all done. I'm pleased. Right, so let's go over to the Init A page. We're going to put in our flight number, which, as I said earlier, was JST224. And we're going to put in our alternate airport, which is Gold Coast, I think. Pretty sure it's Gold Hi, Coast. Hi, the What's security that? Safety checks are all done. Are you good to start boarding? Yes, you can start boarding. Okay. Yeah. Security and safety checks done. No need to ask. Just get them on board, please. You know? Uh, <laughs> right. There we are, cost index. We're going to use we're going to use 15 today for Jetstar, I think, and we're going to initially be cruising at flight level 340. We may climb a little bit uh, further later on. We'll get the APU started as the passengers are getting on board. Well, it's 12 degrees here, so it's not exactly chilly. Still working. All oh, right. Okay. Good. Good. Well, I'm. I, you know me. I'm happy being in the background. <laughs> Wouldn't know graft if it slapped you in the face. Now I've uh, I've forgotten what graft feels like as well, to be honest. <laughs> Hello, Tristan. Didn't see you pop up. Nice to see you here. Uh, great. So three seconds. Start button. The APU is coming online, and while it does, we'll carry on setting up the MCDU. Go to the flight plan page. And we are indeed taking off from runway 23. Interestingly, Queenstown is not currently publishing a meta. I presume they only do it when the aircraft's in operation, uh, airport's in operation. But I have found some sort of weather with which to calculate my V-speeds. Quite a short runway today. I had to deboard some passengers or we would have been too heavy to get off the ground. So um, not, not ideal for them, but it doesn't make much difference to us. So that's the main thing. Harrison, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Good day, all. Let's get out of this joint for the promised land the Kiwis wish they had. <laughs> Not today, they don't, Harrison. Not today, they don't. <laughs> Hello, VFR Andy. Nice to see you. I'm all right, thank you. How are you? Please, your first cold and dark setup in the CRJ, and then proceeded to explode. When you couldn't get the thing to go, oh yeah, it's hard to slow down. It's hard to slow down. I always start too late, end up dumping in a whole load of uh, speed brake. Never quite enough. It's always a rush. You'll get there, Jenny, though. Sakith, hello. Nice to see you here. Welcome, welcome. What? <laughs> You're not the only one who saw a koala. Do they have koalas in Queenstown? Do they? <laughs> Benjamin, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, Carl, hello to you in Montreal. Lovely part of the world. Welcome to the stream. Anyway, what was I saying? Deboarding passengers, no meta. Yeah, weather here better than Sydney. That was the gist of my comment there. Um, yeah, good. So this is this is the departure that we want. We'll go back to the flight plan page. Uh, make sure there are no discontinuities. Well, there aren't any for a while anyway. We've got a very long flight, so we've got plenty of time to set up for the arrival. Uh, and the, basically the plan is to take off from runway 23, uh, which is this one here. So we'll be coming from this end, going up to this end, and uh, then we're going to do a nice twisty-turny departure around these mountains, and it should, hopefully, be absolutely spectacular and not end up with us flying into a mountain. I 
I don't know what I don't know what this koala chat's about. I must have I must have missed it. No, I haven't got Brandenburg yet. No, I haven't, but I will be. Fear not. Uh, right, what are we doing? Init B probably. What I wanted to just do quickly is step through the route on here, just to make sure that it looks right uh, and matches my SID chart. And it does, I think. Yeah, take off, turn right, turn left. That's what we want to do. Excellent. They Well, they weren't that fussed, Jenny. They said that, uh, that, you know, the reason they love Australia is basically the weather. They have really good weather there. And it's so awful at the moment that they were quite happy to hang out in New Zealand a bit longer. So, you know. <laughs> I can get the stairs if you'd like. Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, actually, they don't work here. I've just remembered. So I'm using um, a mod for Queenstown. And uh, they don't... Yeah, the stairs no longer work if they ever did. I don't know if they do in the default Acerbo version. Not sure. Um, anyway, nothing happens with the stairs. No one turns up, so I'm not that fussed, to be honest with you. Right, init B time. Init B time. Uh, we'll import our zero fuel weight and centre of gravity. Block fuel is... 13.8 tons, so quite a lot of fuel. That's why we couldn't have quite so many passengers, because uh, we're going, you know, we're going a long way. Over to the performance page now. Well, let's just check that it's filled out in it B first, shall we? And it has. Performance page. I've calculated our V speeds for a flaps two takeoff. Um, we're going to be using toga thrust, and if I can find the right window. Out of the hundreds I have open, I can choose our uh, takeoff trim as well. So it's 0.5 nose up. I think you put up 0.5 actually, don't you? Oh, it works it out. That's good. So no flex temp. We'll be using. Um, hmm, let me just have a look at the SID chart. I suspect we might we might want a slightly higher um, thrust reduction and acceleration altitude. To be honest with you, uh, Ecnov. So Ipnor for Delta Reach at or above 5,200 NCUV. And then at or above 7,000. We want to be at Tulvu. Maximum 210 knots at Vapley. And that's our final uh, speed restriction. So I think what we'll do then... I think what we'll do is we'll, have, we'll, we'll set our thrust reduction altitude to... Um, 5,200 because we really do, we want a lot of power to make sure we don't hit any mountains basically and then we won't accelerate uh, until 7,000 feet so that we can get the best possible rate of climb out of the aircraft that is the plan anyway what have I missed in the chat there was a gif of a winking koala prior to the donation going through Where? Where? In the chat? How did you? I don't. I don't understand. What in the chat? I must have um, the donation gift. Right. Okay. I, that's a mystery to me. I'm going to have to watch this back later to find out what on earth you're all talking about. <laughs> uh, Ian Tompkins. Hello. Thank you very much. Oh, that's all right. No worries. No worries. Yeah. Full toga. Full toga today. <laughs> It might well be. It might well be, Ben. But, you know, let's think positive. Let's think positive. I've totally forgotten that association with passengers missing their flight. <laughs> 13,000 for our transition altitude. And our V-speeds are going to be 129. 135. And 140. And we're going to set our cruising altitude straight off the bat. There is an atoll below 250, flight level 250 constraint at BCOS, but there's no ATC. So what are they going to do? There we are, there we are. Uh, what else do we need to do? What else do we need to do? Let's check the overhead panel. We've got our seatbelt sign on. We've got our uh, no electronic devices set to auto. We'll turn on the APU bleed. Now the APU started up. We'll turn off external power. And I think we can have the before start checklist down to the line. Before start checklist. Cockpit prep. OK. 
completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Removed. Signs. On and auto. ADS. Nav. Fuel quantity. Set. Take off data. Set. Barrow ref. One zero one nine set. One zero one nine set. Down to the line. Hello, ribbon. Yeah, I think Teagle's finished, Tukiam. I think it's all over. It's all over at Teagle. I think every, all of the airports are closing. It's all going to Brandenburg. Good afternoon, Exile. Welcome to the stream. How are things with you? Right, I think we can uh, we can fast forward our pre-flight events a little bit. So we're due to be departing at twelve ten local, which I believe is twenty three ten Zulu. We've got a bit of time to play with, but you know when you've got fewer passengers to worry about, you can get going a bit early, can't you? Don't have to wait for them all to faff about. Hi guys, here's the load sheet for you. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. Have a safe flight. It's flight crew A three twenty. There's a link in the video description. And shortly you will also hear Pushback Express when we do the pushback. Those are the two uh, mods I'm using. Good, I'm glad, Excel. I'm glad. No, I don't have any Jakarta scenery. I didn't know there was one, to be honest. Still no uh, Australian or New Zealand uh, sounds for the cabin crew or flight crew, unfortunately. Very limited selection. Hey guys, all packs were on board. Are we clear to close? Yep. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. So once the door's closed, which it is now, we can uh, we can finish the before start checklist and get underway. Before we do that, though, I'm just going to try and work out our taxi route because, you know, some of the taxiways on this airport are a little bit on the. Uh, narrow side for an aircraft of this size. Mm, don't really have much information on my charts unfortunately. Look at the airport chart. Oh, that's weird. I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling that we'd probably be best off just backtracking down the runway. I think we will, I think we'll do that. It's clearly not a busy airport. Which sounds do you refer to, uh, Roland? Lots of backtracking. Good. That'll do us. Thank you. Uh, right. Let's finish the before start checklist. Below the line. Windows and doors. Closed. Ooh, I'll Closed. turn the beacon, beacon on first, though. On. Thrust levers. Should be idle. Idle. There. Parking brake. Set. On. Before start checklist complete. Right, let's Cockpit do it. To ground. Go ahead, flight tech. We are ready for pushback and engine start. Roger, release the parking brakes, please. Oh, yeah, we've got an American ground crew and. Uh, parking brakes released. Pushing back. Okay, why has my sim just gone silent? Brilliant. Brilliant. Sim's just crashed. Ugh. How did that happen? Why did that happen? Oh dear. Okay. Let's try once more, shall we? I haven't had a crash to desktop for a very, very long time. Seems to have been seems to be something perhaps to do with uh, flight crew A three twenty. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes Ben, sometimes I have these experiences with uh, MSFS that other people seem to have all the time. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh, a sympathy donation. I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <clears throat> Dear. Right, it's starting again. It's going to take a while, but it is starting again. I hope. 
I hope. Cabin crew and co-pilot from Flight Crew A320, Roland. There's a link in the video description. Right, while, while this is reloading... Oh yeah, there's the koala! <laughs> do you know, I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> And this is why I need a second monitor. I'm going to have a look at the other one again now. Because then I'd see all of these things. <laughs> sweet, sweet. <laughs> Wiggly wombat, nice. <laughs> Good day all, let's get out of this joint for the promised land the Kiwis wish they had. Oh uh, yeah, if only, eh? If only. Oh no, don't play it again. We've seen, we've had enough. Oh, yeah. It's happening again. <laughs> oh dear. Good day all, let's get out of this joint for the promised land the Kiwis wish they had. Yeah, about three hours, Ruben, about three hours. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, new feature, new feature, the old text-to-speech text thing, and a new tune. It's weird, normally when my sim crashes, like the audio goes weird first, and then it sort of freezes a bit, and then it thinks about it, and then it crashes. And this time, it was just boom, gone instantly. I can only assume it's something to do with the pushback. I don't know. I'm starting to wonder if I should perhaps have uh, uninstalled the freeware add-on for Queenstown. I don't know. Tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, it's already quit by itself. I'm going to turn off the top bar. I'm going to just try and close some things down. Um, and I'll try and resume all of these features once we're in the air. But if we get rid of that, then that's one less thing to worry about. We'll leave the chat because I've never had a problem with that. FSUIPC is gone. So, well, yeah, I don't know what we can do really other than keep our fingers crossed. Volanta. I'm going to quit that as well. We don't need Volanta. Ah, there you are. Can't go wrong with pushback helper. Does much the same thing, I think, doesn't it? <laughs> I won't, Harrison. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh dear. Taking its sweet time to restart, isn't it? Mm. Honestly, Sonen, I don't think it is. It was when it came out because it was the only option, but now there are freeware options as well. To my mind, unless you're particularly keen on having the voices, it doesn't bring a huge amount to the table. But, but it's going to be updated, uh, so hopefully in, in due course, it will become a lot better value for money. I'm hoping that it'll just, in the end, be able to push you back onto the, uh, onto the taxiway center line, and then you won't have to drive the tug as well as, as, well as the plane. So, yeah, that's, that's a point. Yeah, we don't yet know uh, if GSX is as good as it was in P3D, then there's absolutely no need for it at all. Okay, here we go again. Gate five. Uh, we'll do the weight and balance. Do 
12.405 of fuel. Better too much than too little. And the takeoff weight was going to be 71405, but that was before I found out that that was too heavy and I kicked some passengers off. So we're going to make it 68606 or slightly under. That'll do 68324. Sort out the center of gravity. 26% Mac. Right, fly. Yeah, I'm not I'm not convinced it'll be a free upgrade, Benjamin. I imagine there's quite a lot of work gone into it. Um but yeah, hope, hopefully, hopefully it'll be even better than the old one. I really hope so. Because the old, I mean, the old one was fantastic. Hello, Owen. Welcome, welcome. How are you? That's all right, Tukiem. I hope you have a good trip. Hmm. Hello, aha. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hello, Callum. Welcome. You join us just after a crash to desktop. So we're restarting everything and uh, hopefully it won't happen again. I'm going to try and whiz through all of the pre-flight stuff as fast as possible so that we can get underway or at least find out if it's just not going to work at all. Hello, Tokyo Style. Welcome to the stream. Yes, I, I did. I'm glad you found it funny. Come on. <laughs> okay, here we are again. Just get the time set up and the weather. So we were due to depart at 12.10, so let's be optimistic and set the time to midday. And you all get to watch me set up the aircraft from the beginning, which is a treat for you, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Bit of lag pushing the buttons for some reason. That looks good. Yeah, I am, Ben. <laughs> I tell you what, if it crashes again, I might just go and read my book in the garden. Oh, I missed, I didn't see the animation. I'm going to have to play it again. I'm going to have to play it again and watch what the picture was. <laughs> I didn't, honestly, until today I didn't even know Streamlabs could do this. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> it is sunny where I am. It's sort of, not as good as it was yesterday. Yesterday was glorious. It was like a proper spring day. Today it's a bit less sunny. Um, but still quite nice. Let's just do things in a different order and see if that helps. That seems, seems a bit clutching at straws, but anyway. <laughs> dear, oh dear. 
Uh, Daryl, I this sim is is far more stable than any previous sim I've used. I think the last crash I had was probably, I don't know, a good two months ago, something like that. So, yeah, just unlucky. I'm going to change the sounds on. Maybe we won't use Pushback Express. Let's not use Pushback Express just in case it was that. We'll just try and use the default ATC Pushback. Uh, right, what did I say the alternate was? Gold Coast, which is... Uh, YBCG. Yeah. Getting ahead of myself. Half type the flight number. See, this is what happens when the sim crashes. It all goes to pot. <laughs> JST224. And the alternate was YBCG. YBCG. I think we decided on a cost index of 15 for Jetstar. Cruising flight level of 340. Let's get the APU started. My luck so far is something to go, but it'll start raining. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> What's this? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That all looks good. Um, flight plan. We decided. We checked that last time, and it was all fine. It had our departure in perfectly. So we'll go to init B. And the block fuel, 12.5 tonnes. V1129. Actually, we're supposed to do the other figures first. Never mind. Uh, so flaps 2 and 0 0.5 up. No flex takeoff temperature, transition level or altitude, flight level 130. And we decided on 5,207,000. No, oh, what's wrong with the format? Fine, have it your way. Uh, 5,200 slash 7,000. Uh, the other V speeds rotate, 135. 140. It's looking alright, isn't it? Looking okay. Right, let's do our checklist again. We'll get Pushback Express up and running. Use oh, yeah, yeah, good idea, Dingo. I never bother with the fly pad. Today could be its time to shine. No, I don't use any instrument failures, no. Yeah, I bet. I've, I'd love to. I've never been to Gold Coast, never flown there. I'd like to. <laughs> yeah, you're, you might be right, Scott. You might be right. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Release the parking brake. <laughs> this is Eunice the entire time. Right. Does purchasing mon bronze membership give you any reward? Yeah, it does, Tokyo Style. It gives you access to the Club Filbert Lounge. It's so cold in train. Oh, dear. Hello, Matt. Hi. Uh, right, let's, yeah, let's, let's get this thing up and running. Uh, what do we do? Go to dispatch. Where do we put our username in? We put it in there, but we copy and paste it because otherwise things go wrong. And we'll import our sim brief flight plan. There it is. Three four zero, Tokyo style. Right. Yeah. Should we have the before start checklist? I think we should. Before start checklist. Cockpit prep. About three Completed. hours, Matt. Completed. About three hours. Gear pins like and Hello, covers. Sim Pilot. I'm good, thank you. 
removed. Signs. On and now I haven't uh, restarted VPilot yet. Nav. Fuel quantity. Set. Take off data. Set. Barrow ref. One zero one nine. Set. One zero one nine. Set. Down to the line. Beacon on. And we'll tune in uh, Unicom, seeing as it now seems there might be people around us. Are there? Oh, there are. We've got company. We have a CRJ and uh, and an Air New Zealand A320. Nice. Uh, <coughs> What have I missed in the chat? Oh, the Gold Coast chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see me good. Which one of these are you, Benjamin? I'm assuming one of them is you. What do you mean, why not the newly released Aerosoft EDDB user? What do you mean? Flight crew A320. No, I'm not in Manchester. I'm in London. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to try using the uh, flypad pushback. Below the line. Windows and doors. Closed. Closed. Beacon. Mossy, hello. Welcome, welcome. How are you? On. Thrust. You're levels. the A320. Cool. Idle. Parking brake. On. Before start checklist complete. Oh, I, I will be user. I will be. Right, so if we press call tug... I mean, the tug's there. The tug's there. Uh, I guess we just press this one, do we? Nothing. Oh, okay. Maybe I had to push call tug twice. The tug is now moving. That's good. Hello, Captain Panna. There's a sort of weird lack of taxiway centre lines here, isn't there? Never mind. Right. I don't. I don't know how this works. This is all very exciting. First time I've used it. I assume he's going to get into position, and then we'll release the brakes and get pushed back. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if uh, the flyby will get quite to the level of FS Labs A320. I hope so. I really hope so. I, gee, I've got my own coffee cup sim pilot, and I did, I did run my batch file to install it. Uh, oh, here we go. We're moving, but we still have the parking brake set. Oh, what's going on? Can I steer it with my rock joystick? No. Uh, mm, that one? Okay, that's working. <laughs> two three, Benjamin, two three. Hello, Safal, welcome, welcome. Have I heard of Mango Airlines? No, I don't think I have. Yes, that's correct, Benjamin. Yeah, that'll do. Not quite as slick as Pushback Express, but the main thing is the sim is still running. Let's start some engines. Starting engine two. London Gatwick or London Heathrow. Do you mean which one do I prefer? Or, uh... <laughs> oh, it's the South African airline, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, we, all, we all know my life is, is very much lacking because of my lack of X-Plane. Not least missing the uh, Zebo 737. Tip, alt, right, alt and left click on the EFB and then you can manage the pushback in the exterior cam. Oh, that's not a bad idea, actually, yeah. 
ya. I'll have to send the tug away. Ah, okay. Do I... I thought... I mean, I pressed the stop button. So do I press call tug again? Oh, yes, away he goes. Thank you. And a new one has spawned in his place. I prefer Heathrow. I prefer Heathrow. Well, we've got GSX coming. And... Uh, you know, perhaps I'm biased, but I've seen both in use. I've used GSX. I've never used Better Pushback, but I, I think it's um, it's got a lot, quite a lot more to it. You just tell it which way you want to face, and it'll push you back. Uh, what are we doing? Starting some engines. Starting engine one. <laughs> ah. Oh dear. Once again, ladies and yeah, hopefully, hopefully not too much longer. Please direct your attention to the cabin crew for important safety information. There is an instruction card in your seat pocket. Let's just get the old bat spy open. I've never flown with either, Tikium, so I, I don't have an opinion. I don't think there's an estimated date, but I could be wrong. It could be wrong. This is the 320 Neo. I don't, uh, I don't have a 321. To release your seatbelt, lift the metal flap on the buckle. It is our policy that you keep your seatbelt fastened at well, all we've got three departures, seat. all going to Doors Sydney. Doors are clearly marked with exit signs and instructions for door operation. Each door is equipped with an escape Pritam line. is doing it in the, uh, in the CRJ 700, so he may have to do some mid-air refueling, I expect. Like Hello, Wi-Fi place. The cabin is pressurised. If there is a loss of cabin pressure, a panel will open and oxygen mask will appear. Remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. Oh, that's good. I hadn't seen their teaser. I'll have to check that out afterwards. Oxygen. Right, so we've got two good engine starts now. Even though the bag may not inflate. We'll uh, turn the engine mode selector back to normal. Turn off the APU bleed and the APU. Turn on the taxi light while we're up here. And we'll do the uh, after start checklist. After start checklist. And two two people are working on the 220, so I think it'll happen. If the jacket fails to inflate, set ecam status checked. Pitch trim. Pitch trim I haven't set. We want 0.5 nose up. This is a non-smoking flight. Smoking is not permitted in the Twenty-five percent set. Rudder trim zero. After start checklist complete. Okay, dokey. Queenstown traffic, Jetstar 224, taxiing runway 23 via Alpha 4. Here we go. Now it's about to crash again, is it? No, it's something's gone wrong with my track IR, that's fine. <laughs> And when I say something's gone wrong, I mean it's run out of battery. This is this is this is not a uh, insolvable problem. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't, Tukiem. What is that Simpika? Never heard of it. I don't know. Oh, that's weird. My track AR does have battery, but it still isn't working. I'm just going to spend a moment trying to sort that out. It's like it's 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 picking up a signal, but it's not connecting to the sim. Oh, 
Weird. Ah well, we'll do without it. Not the end of the world. Ah, so yeah, so my um, I've got a Delan clip, wireless Delan clip, so um, it's rechargeable. Queenstown traffic, Jetstar 224, backtrack and line up runway 23. Tristan, thank you. Oh, I hope your cat's uh, hope your cat's all right. <laughs> nice of you to pop by. No, I didn't. I, I didn't do the three twenty challenge. So we'll set our auto brake to max. Test the takeoff config. Oh yeah, I'm so used to my co-pilot setting flaps. I hadn't done it. <laughs> there we are. We can turn on our weather radar and predictive wind shear. Yeah, I feared that might be uh, the case, uh, sim pilot. Ding the cabin. <laughs> the taxiways here are tiny. The runway is pretty narrow as well. It's going to be quite an exciting departure, I think. I would love to visit Bali, yeah, for sure. One day, Tukiem, one day. The only downside to the wireless Delan clip um, ribbon, well, other than the price, it's a little bit pricey for what it is. The other thing is it's quite heavy. So I have quite a cheap headset and it it's, uh, sort of makes my head want to tip over to one side <laughs> when I'm wearing it. But other than that, it is good. I am pleased with it. Yeah, the live weather is still pretty much hit and miss. I'll try not to crash my keg. How many traffics you got? I don't understand, Pritam, sorry. So I'm on VATSIM, so the only people you'll see are uh, other pilots. I don't have any live traffic on, if that's what you mean. Yeah, treat yourself. Treat yourself, Ribbon. See, this is where track IR is very useful, or would be very useful. How did I start my pilot career? Well, I'm not a pilot Tokyo style, so I haven't really started my pilot career. Yeah, good idea, Dingo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, VR's definitely better than Track IR. But it requires beefy hardware, whereas Track IR will work with pretty much everything. Vatsim's an online ATC network. I never noticed that tagline, Ruben. Okay, right. Flight control check. We're not. Bo oh, we'll have to bother with that, won't we? Yeah, we'll do full the flight up. control check. There's no one about. It's fine. We've full got loads down. of time. Neutral. <laughs> full left. Full right. Neutral. Rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Well, I know there's people waiting. <clears throat> Ah, real life, I remember that. <laughs> Hello, Mako, welcome back, welcome back. You've missed a sim crash to desktop. You've, uh, other than that, you haven't Clear missed much. Side. Clear left well, right side. Clear right Pressure, zero. Before takeoff, You've checklist. missed me uh, getting Flight very behind controls. with the checklists. Checked. <laughs> Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Checked. Briefing. 
Confirmed. Flat setting. Config 2. Config 2. V1, VR, V2, flex temp. V1, Thank one, you for your patience, five, Benjamin. Six, I appreciate it. VR, <laughs> one, five, six, V2, Thank you, Sean. One, yeah, I'm five, expecting six, dreadful weather. V1, one, dreadful five, weather. Six, VR. One five six V two <laughs> yeah, one pretty much, five pretty six much. ATC set ECAM memo take off no blue down to the line below the line cabin crew be seated for takeoff takeoff runway confirmed confirmed cabin crew advised engine mode selector normal packs on before takeoff checklist complete right let's ready. do it ready take off. Engine stable and all the way forward to Toga. Mantoga, SRS runway, auto thrust blue. Check. Thrust set. I really hope we've got enough runway. Web Pro says we do. But does Microsoft Flight Simulator agree? I don't want another repeat of uh, Rio. Yeah, we're going to have another repeat of Rio. I can feel check. it. I can feel it. Oh, and we've got a whole load of stutters as well. Okay, I think we'll rotate now. <laughs> just. <laughs> just. Well, that's totally thrown my virtual co-pilot. He's, uh, he's finished. He doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Let's turn on the autopilot because it's a shame not to give you some outside B1. views. Too easy, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> We've done gear up. I've put my own gear, gear up. up. Flaps what? Speed checked. And why is it on TCAS standby? Flaps one. This is a new one on me. Oh, it is. I didn't set it. Flaps zero. Speed checked. So we should be coming up Flaps to our acceleration zero. altitude of 5,200. Little bit premature with uh, raising those flaps. Thank you, Row Player. Appreciate it. Oh, it's gorgeous around here, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, did you ding? I'm glad it's not just me. Hey, Antody. Now, Antody, I was looking for you yesterday in the Discord server because you joined Club Filbert and I want to give you the right roles to uh, access um, the lounge channels, but I don't know what your username is there if you are on there, so let me know. Uh, no, I'm not Toga. No, I'm not. Maka, I never really understood. I saw people talking about carrots, but I don't actually know what happened to your arm. What, what, what happened? Here we are, passing through the acceleration altitude. And we're through the clouds, which is nice. A few mountain tops nearby to have a look at. That's uh, a lie unit. Ah, uh, no worries, no rush. I just was worried that you were waiting there and uh, and uh, I'd missed you. So yeah, whenever, whenever. <laughs> Don't worry, but you can't be here all the time. You've got a job to hold down. 
Yeah, I'm alright. Sorry, I have no idea how to pronounce your name, but welcome to the stream. Oh, good grief, you poor thing! <laughs> That's all. I mean, I can see why it's amusing, but still, it's not what you need. It's not what you need. I'm glad you're having your... I take it you're getting your cast off from the chat so far. So that's good news. Oh, Christ. Uh, there we are. Okie dokie. All is fine, everybody. All is absolutely fine. <laughs> As I say frequently in the CJ4, and have now had validated by Matt, a little bit of overspeed never hurt anybody. Anyway, we're above 10,000 now, so we can turn off the landing lights. We can turn off the seatbelt sign. And everyone can have a jolly nice flight. <laughs> Quite the fracture club up here today. I'm not religious to QM, so I don't tend to pray before takeoff. <laughs> I bet you do, Becca. <laughs> I'm sure it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, I'm sure. Try, try not to be too phobic of vegetable aisles. Yes, I know, Flighter. I'm quite looking forward to seeing it. Uh, right, we're passing through the transition level. Altitude even, transition altitude. So we'll uh, set standard. And we'll keep our climb going up to flight level 340. And we'll enjoy some of the spectacular scenery before we hit the sea. We're going up to flight level 340, Dr. Robots. We're not going up to 37,000. <laughs> I don't sim full-time, no. I do have a job, but I work 12-hour shifts, which means I'm off more days than I'm on. And what with the pandemic and not having any kind of a real life at the moment, this is mostly what I do on my days off, yes. <laughs> Now, what do you think? Should we risk? I think we should. I'm going to risk starting FSU IPC and uh, restarting the old um, progress bar because it is useful and it's never caused a crash before. So keep your fingers crossed a minute. Oh no, I didn't mean to turn the chat off. Press the wrong thing. There. Seems alright. This is gorgeous, isn't it? That is, that is a very interesting question, Mr. Chippy. Uh, no, I don't think you have, no. I don't know who they are. <laughs> Toby, it's very kind of you to say thank you. It's fine, it's fine. All is well. Oh, you're welcome, Scale Model. I'm glad you found it useful. I did as well, I have to say. I knew very little um, of what he taught me before we started. We're planning to do a series of short lessons. So we did one on VOR approaches. I want to do one on RNAV approaches at some point. And various other little bits just as sort of bolt-ons. And in the end, hopefully, every feature of the CJ floor will be covered. Hello Andy Miller, welcome. Picture moment, yeah, not half. 
just get a nice bit of uh, inside wing view. Mostly for Caffle, but you might all enjoy it. I, I have had Julian. I've sort of, yeah, just sporadically. When the update came out, it was totally fine. Um, when I flew to Hobart, I had a lot of stuttering. And then when I did my review of Washington National, I had a lot of stuttering. And then the next day I went back to Washington National and it was totally fine. So it's been very up and down. Today so far has been all right, but I did have a sim crash. So, you know, <laughs> swings and roundabouts. Oh, did you? Oh, I'm jealous. I'm jealous, Mr. Chip. Are you, um, are you in New Zealand? I'm sure I did know where you're from, but I've forgotten. I flew into Copenhagen the other day. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I really hope they bring out a patch. It's definitely affecting a lot of people. I've been sort of fairly lucky. Um... We all want a nice smooth sim again. Oh, okay, cool. Nice part of the world. Um, do I prefer X-Plane or FSX? Gosh, I haven't flown either for a very, very, very long time. I guess if I was choosing either FSX or X-Plane now, I'd pick X-Plane. But I, I probably would say I prefer P3D to X-Plane. But FSX is ancient and doesn't work very well. <laughs> I think you might be right, Ben, actually. Uh, no, I can't pronounce that, Tukiem. I wish I'd get the fly-by-wire guys for a detailed A320 series too. Yeah, um, they were doing their own series of tutorials, so I sort of thought there wasn't much need for it. To be honest, I've never, never really approached them about it. Is that si is that since the um, since the latest update? Is it Sian or Shan or? Sorry, I'm. I'm bit rubbish at pronouncing names sometimes. I'm going to call you Sian, but do correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, um, yeah, it's certainly worse around heavy cities for me as well. Uh, I updated my NVIDIA driver a couple of days ago, I think. I think I'm on the latest. I'll have a quick check. Sanend, welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> you remember before? Oh, you've, you've you upgraded to silver, you little treasure. Thank you very much indeed. I'll make sure your uh, Discord roles get updated. Kian, ah, okay. Thank you, thank you. Cruise speed is going to be about 0.78 max, something like that. I'm using the latest dev build of the uh, A32NX. I think I'd prefer an A350 as well. It's got more uh, longevity, isn't it? Tokyo Style, welcome to Club Film, and thank you very much indeed for joining up. Are you on Discord? If you are, let me know your username and. Uh, I'll make sure you get the right, what do you call it, rolls. Yeah, I know what you mean, scale modelling. I'll, I'll give it some thought. Only since the recent update, yeah. Well, hopefully they'll patch it. Yeah. 
does seem to be there does seem to be a market for it. I'm going to try and do something similar with the CRJ. Ah, okay, you paid for it on another account, right? Well, welcome to both of you. Uh, 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 what else have I missed? Club Philbert High. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Uh, what was I going to do? What was I going to do? I can't remember. I'm going to do something. It's totally slipped my mind, whatever it was. Oh yeah, I was going to check what our cruise speed is. So yeah, 0 0.78 back. That's pretty, uh, pretty standard. And the other thing I want to do is check the flight plan. Uh, to see if we've got any step climbs. I feel like we should have step climbs. So goodbye to New Zealand. Unfortunately... Our uh, little jaunt there was very, very short. Right, where's my flight plan gone? Hello, Surrender. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? No, we're 340 all the way today. 340 all the way. Oh well, that's okay. Greetings from Portugal. You're a 17 year old who will probably start his PPL this year. Nice! Ah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice to hear. I'm hoping to start my PPL this year as well. Or maybe next. Whenever I've had two jabs and COVID's a thing of the past, anyway. Which part of Portugal are you from? Also, how do I say your name? Is it is it Duarte or is it perhaps Duarte? I like to know how to say these things. Good, I'm pleased, dear uh, surrender. I'm pleased. Ah, oh, how, ma how many of us are there? Let's have a little look at that spy. It just occurred to me I totally forgot to announce anything on Unicom, uh, so apologies to the rest of you for that. I, I sort of went from seeing there's definitely nobody at this airport to seeing that there were two of you. Three of us. There's three of us now. Awesome. <laughs> oh no, at least going from Wellington to New Zealand. He's nothing to do with us. Um, yes, and no, I totally forgot that anyone else was there and just took off. <laughs> Setubal near to Lisbon. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I said it right. First one. Duarte. Awesome. I'll try and remember that. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you, Surrender. I'm good. Yeah, the liver is pretty good. But it, I don't think it's quite shiny enough. I'd like it to be a bit shinier. If you look at pictures of the real plane, it's got a lot more of a metallic finish. Right. I think it's time for a little bit of cruising music. since I've done a flight of this length. It's quite nice to be back in the sky and be able to relax for a while. No, I don't, Tukiam, I'm afraid. Oh, I'll have to look that up, Harrison. And while I'm clicking out, I'm going to add uh, Sennent's Club Filbert Silver competencies. Oh, he's already got them. Must do ah. So you were in Club Filbert Silver on a different account, and now you're right, okay. You've got you've got what you need anyway, that's the main thing. Got to go. No worries, no worries. Thank you very much, uh, Duarte, thanks. Oh, that makes life easier, Harrison. Thanks. Is it under screenshots? No. It's probably under general chat. No. Is it under the Club Filbert Lounge? 
Or is it in a message? It's in a message. Oh, we got lots of messages from you. Oh, shiny. Kind of similar though. I haven't really pushed the boat out with it though. Looks good on a 321 though. <laughs> really? That's an actual home in Sydney. Ah, I've got to show this to you somehow. This is Trevor Kowalski that we're listening to here on uh, Epidemic Sound. This is, a, is footage of an actual home in, uh, in the suburbs of Sydney at the moment. That's just unbelievable, no? Just unbelievable. Anyway, here we are. That's what we're heading into. With the music, you can have Jetstar tasting plate. $15, any red, white or sparkling wine, cheese and crackers and green conservoiler olives or two times hand salami sticks. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good, Sean. Still go for 1.2 mil, yeah. Good, Riven, I'm glad. I, uh, yeah, I'm glad. I like to keep it chill and uh, relaxing. When you say next video, Jakarta, Singapore. Yeah. But I think we had this discussion, didn't we? There's no Jakarta scenery at the moment, unfortunately. But when there is, I'll, I'll certainly try and do that route. <laughs> ah, your estate agents are the same as ours, I get, I take it then. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and take a short break, but I'll be back momentarily.
Oh, I turned back. Sorry about that. What have I missed? Quite a lot. Quite a lot. Historic Gaming. Hello, hello. <laughs> nice to have you back. Parallel landing at Cindy. We could, we could, we could give it a whirl, Benjamin. Ben. Oh, okay, no worries. I, you're probably gone by now. If not, see you shortly. <laughs> Very good thing. Australia's getting its first day 321 near. Nice. Are you back? That was... What? Did, have you just been to buy a bin and come back? What may I have misunderstood? You're collecting new bins because well seems to think bags are a better idea than a traditional bin and when comes we lose them every time. Where, where did you collect your new bins from? Is it just like at the front door? <laughs> I sort of envisaged you going to the home base or somewhere like that and buying them. But obviously not. Bunnings is gone from here, Harrison. They, they couldn't stick it out. My local home base got converted into a Bunnings. It was much better. And they gave us, uh, they had like an opening day where we got sort of a poor man's Australian barbecue type thing. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, and then they, uh, yeah, they went and they sold everything and it became home base again. Rubbish. Yeah, so we're doing the Mod 6 approach. I haven't thought ahead as far as our arrival. Let's see what the Meta is doing. Is Cav OK in Sydney at the moment? Cav OK. Who'd have thought it? Wins 300 at 5. Let me think this through a moment. Probably go for three, four left. That's all right with everyone. Yeah, it was sad. It had a, just it had a much better vibe than home base. Um, I do sometimes get stutters on my streams, Julian. That I don't get in the sim. Um, but yeah, by and large it works alright. I don't notice a big drop in frame rate or anything like that when I'm streaming compared with when I'm not. So, so far so good. Clement, hello, welcome. Welcome to Phil McFly's. Nice to have you here. 18? That, that's ridiculous. That's awful. I didn't know how, how grim things were. Welcome back, Tokyo Style. Yeah, cool. I don't, I don't have really have any concept of how we're going to make this work, Benjamin. But we'll, we'll do our best. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll slow down and you'll speed up at some point. Oh, is it Lobie? Let's have a look at my sliders. They look to be about balanced to me, to be honest. Anyone else finding my voice too quiet in relation to the engines? Or maybe it hasn't saved my settings and the engines are just really loud. Let's have a look at that first. No, nope, that's still way down. General, general consensus on whether my voice is too quiet? Oh, okay, Dingo. Uh, thank you. Can 
we manage 380? Probably. I mean, I don't think this is actually telling the truth, but yeah, let's do a climb. Why not? Voice volume is good, engines are just loud. Okay. I thought I'd got round this by turning them right down here. Anyway, obviously not enough. Are they still quieter from behind? Not really. But maybe if we go further away and zoom in, <laughs> then we'll be able to have the best of all worlds. Sounds alright. The outside view has pretty loud engines, but the mixing's still okay. Okay. Great, thank you for the supplement. In fact, that reminds me, I should probably tell you all a little bit about the uh, options if you want to support Phil the Flies. So, uh, you can subscribe, which is always very welcome, and it's very easy to do and free. Just click the subscribe button. You can also make a donation via streamlabs.com slash flies if you want to and can afford to. Absolutely no pressure. And the third option is you can join Club Filver, which is my YouTube membership program. Um, and in return for a small monthly donation, you get various member benefits. Um, so everyone gets custom, um, what do they call custom badges, as you'll see some people have in the chat. Everyone gets access to two private uh, members-only uh, channels on my Discord server and custom emojis. And people who join Club Filbert Silver, which is the highest of the two tiers, also get a monthly private members only live stream. Thank you, whoever did the, uh, the command. <laughs> yeah, I, I always hit selected altitude because otherwise it does weird things. So, in the real A320 or a high quality simulation of one, you should be able to hit manage altitude and it will climb according to your altitude constraints to your cruising level but in this it doesn't sometimes so yeah i always use selected altitude <laughs> club fill that gold will be awesome when it launches but uh, possibly not quite that awesome <laughs> Perfect combination, Sean. <laughs> Doesn't sound quite as good as that. Uh, was it you who was talking about the um, Jetstar meal deal thing? That sounded really good. <laughs> Did you, Ribbon? Yeah. <laughs> it does, it does. <laughs> Maybe that is what I need, my own line of uh, vape juice. <laughs> Thanks, Clement. Uh, mine's up and down air camp. It was after the update it was totally fine. It was totally fine. Um but yeah, lately I have been having the odd day where it's just really stuttery in heavy, in densely populated areas. Today, so far so good. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll definitely be back to Hobart before long, I feel.
Yeah, me neither. I'm probably slightly more excited about the 737, I have to say, than the BMDG one, but the A380 will be exciting. Is there an issue with loading fly-by-wire today? You need to delete the A32NX from your community folder and then you need to get the latest version of the downloader and then it'll be fine. But there was a problem with installation. Yeah, you're not doing badly. You're not doing badly, Harrison. Flight Beam Auckland is going to be a game changer, I feel. Um, the airline of flying. But yeah, you're doing alright. Mr. Prakash, hello, welcome to the stream. So I personally only fly to places that have decent airport scenery, Clement, and uh, unfortunately Medan does not yet at the moment. But if it ever does, sure. We do need a good long hauler, it's true, it's true. We do have a, a few decent short haulers now. It's just, I think like most people, I spend about 90% of my time flying short haul. And then once in a blue moon, I fancy doing a long haul. So that's that's why I'm more excited about the 737, because I'll just get more use out of it. I hope you're right, Douglas. I hope you're right. I've really no idea how similar they are. I guess, like, you know, any fly-by-wire Airbus aircraft is going to be relatively similar to the others, I guess. I was going to look something up just then. I can't remember what. No, no. So the um, Quality Wings 787 is coming out soon as well. That'll be good. How are you, Prakash? Yeah, it's a nice view. It's a nice view. When I'm flying on my own, I have to say I hardly ever look at the wing views or the window views, but I know a lot of you like them. <laughs> I've got a feeling that Flight Beam did a Wellington. For P3D, was it? Yeah, yes, yeah, so there's a P3D version of Wellington, so hopefully they'll bring that across as well. It's pretty nice, like all flight beam sceneries. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a few sort of fancy features, isn't it? Like, is it is it that one that has break to vacate? I think it is. So, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully it'll be uh, close enough that we won't take ages to learn. Yeah, Dulles is 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 a really good scenery, and so is their Denver. Since they updated it, that's also fantastic. They are one of the one of the developers, one of few developers, I'd say, who you can just buy whatever they release and be confident that it's going to be amazing. Oh, no worries, Clement. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice of you to stay up for us. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of how I hope all cities will end up. You know, that we've got decent. All the airports look good. We've got landmarks or good quality photogrammetry, and it'll all just, the whole planet will gradually come together. Yep, 
yeah, flight simming's always been an expensive hobby. It's cheaper now. Cheaper now than it ever has been, to be honest. Because you get so much in Microsoft Flight Simulator that you used to have to pay for, scenery-wise. All of the add-ons are a lot less than they were. Plus, we get all of the world free world updates. So, it's a good time to be a simmer, I have to say. But it's still, yeah, it's still not cheap. Harrison, you know I can't have an opinion on that. You know that. <laughs> Get your live traffic switched on. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It, I mean, flight simming is a lot cheaper than flying in the real world, so there's, there's that. Really? 2,000 a time on fishing rods? That is... I had no idea fishing rods were that expensive. Mm. I must have spent thousands on P3D. Yeah, on P3D alone I must have spent thousands, let alone earlier sims. And I never use it. So P3D's got different licenses, so I, I never had a subscription license, I, I paid for the one-off jobby. But yeah, the other stuff, crazy. Yeah, pretty much model aviation, pretty much. No, I live in the UK, Clement. Like, yeah, that's, I can see that's a bit irritating, Douglas. But the price did need to come down on all of UK 2000 sceneries. They were too much. Oi, Buan Kenobi, I don't have much knowledge on hardware, to be honest with you. I'm not certain. Your best bet is to head over to Avsim. There's a gold mine of information over there, and people who are real experts. I mean, I have an i7 8700K, um, and my CPU, I think, is bottlenecked as well. And I only have a 1080 Ti graphics card, so, you know. But which one you should get, I honestly don't know. Yeah, I'm with you, Dingo. I There are whole swathes of the world that I wouldn't have dreamt of looking at in P3D because I didn't have any scenery for them. Similar thing. Any more thoughts on upgrading? Not, not at the moment because I'm getting the performance that I want at the moment. Um, I did have some stutters around Hobart, but I think that was because of the sim update. I think. So I'm going to wait for the next sim update, I'm going to see how things go. Hardware's so expensive and hard to get hold of at the moment, I just I can't face going down that route um, until I absolutely have to, really. 
Yeah, we could do with a we could do with a fly temper Hanita. Yeah. Oh yes, I'd forgotten about DX12. I'm I know very little about it, but I'm hearing it might be might be the answer. Hello, Max. Welcome, welcome. Hobart is pretty intense, but Ben flew there, and his sister his system's a bit better than mine, but not significantly. And his performance was really good. So, I, like always, when I'm when I'm looking at scenery, I'm like, is this my computer? Is it the sim? Is it the scenery? I honestly don't know the answer. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. It's yeah, fourteen gigabytes for a small for two small airports is yeah, it's a lot, isn't it? But surely it's not so much more resource intensive than taking off an A320 from Heathrow and flying over a photogrammetry London with loads of VATSIM aircraft around, right? Because I can do that. So I don't know. I think it's the sim. How is the CIJ yet to buy it yet? <laughs> um, I like it. It's a little bit buggy. It's hard. It's hard work. Um, but I, I think it's brilliant. I really enjoy flying it. I did a little review on it. If you have a look at my recent uploads, you'll see my full thoughts. Really, I haven't been back to Las Vegas since the last update. I'll have to give it a whirl. lit <laughs> yeah child of all this always uh, an interesting one to try and do anything around but this is what I mean so when I first got Las Vegas I flew around there a fair bit perfectly smooth but I bet if I went there after the latest sim update I'd be stuttering Me too, Timothy. Me too. Cambridge, Cambridge, Australia or Cambridge, UK, Daryl? I think it is. That's my gut feeling, Douglas. God, some people are having stutters everywhere. I'm, I'm quite lucky and not to be, I think. But, uh, yeah, it can't be a coincidence, can it? <laughs> no, I do. I love flying around Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. Nice break from Europe, definitely. At some point, I'm going to have to get up or stay up and uh, and do a flight when there's actually ATC on. That's that's the thing I miss from Europe. Not that there's constantly ATC on, but usually if you fly in the evening in Europe, you can get a little bit of uh, coverage on that. Scene. You got the flight control stick, you're still learning, you need help from anyone. <laughs> you'll get there, you'll get there. Cambridge UK, flying to the airport in FS Economy. Oh yeah, no, that's surprising. I guess th there is photogrammetry now in Cambridge, isn't there? So that might have something to do with it, but it's odd that that's the only place. I've done Delhi to Paro, Akash. I've done Delhi to Paro. Yeah, 
Not in a hurry to go back, to be honest. <laughs> Beautiful, but traumatic. Yeah, I think you're right, Douglas. Yeah, they mentioned that, didn't they? I don't think I've ever owned their Athens. So yeah, I'll definitely be getting that one. No worries, Clement Knight. Nice to have you here, and uh, sleep well. to get an FPS to fit around London. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you can fly in London, you should be able to fly in Cambridge, shouldn't you? Very odd. I don't think anyone really, really understands what this sim is all about, why some people get good performance and others don't, even with similar systems. It doesn't seem to be any lo logic at all. Hello and goodbye, Snorfest. James Barr, hello, welcome to the stream. Or is it Hamez? spotting any ships today, does it, with all this cloud cover? I don't think so, much. no, I don't think so. Tends to be to do with uh, your computer's processing ability. You downloaded uh, Flight Creator 20. Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, makes it makes it so much more real. Isn't it? Your uncle got the Logitech set up last week. Is that a good one to use? Uh, I've never used. Well, I've only ever used their joysticks. I haven't used anything else. But yeah, I think they're pretty good at uh, making hardware. Yes, I limit my my um, FPS to thirty with uh, Reba Tuner, and it has made a made a big difference. Up until recently, uh, when it started stuttering at random. You could really see it. It was like uh, film grain, but uh, they look they look all right from where I'm sitting. To be honest. Ah, uh, maybe actually in the bits which aren't as thick, you can see a little bit of it. Yeah, I see what I see what you're getting at now. Favourite aircraft? Concorde. It is, yeah. It's, it's easy to fly. Nice place to sit and watch the world go by for a while. Oh, the storm, stormy clouds, okay. Oh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't flown through any of those for a little while. Uh, 
I've never had uh, either of those enabled though, uh, Akash. Anyway, today it's having a good day. I haven't had any status so far. Oh, that's good, Harrison. That is good. Good news. Well, good news for your aviation sector. Less good news for the polar bears. But then... <laughs> Simpanzi, welcome. Don't worry about being late. San Diego it's raining so hard is it? Ah, bad luck. Sun's just well it started quite sunny here today then it got a bit miserable but it's, it's quite nice again now in London. With my bit of London anyway. Good morning Tony Me. welcome welcome how are you? Well I'm very excited about Brandenburg I'm looking forward to Brussels um, MK Studios are doing some stuff that I'm quite looking forward to, but I can't remember where it is that I'm particularly excited about now. Um, what are they working on? I don't know. Just Flights, Palma de Mallorca is looking good. It's a first scenery from them, so I'll be interested to see what that's like. Those are the main ones I can think of off the top of my head. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Cav OK in Sydney at the moment, apparently which is lucky. Might actually be able to see Summer Sydney for the first time since I've had it in the sim, I think. Okay, Clement, no worries. Ah, yeah, Lis their Lisbon in P3D was fantastic. I used to love flying there. The approach is stunning. But are they, are, have they announced that they're bringing it across? I, I don't remember it from their roadmap. I thought it was one they were waiting on for some reason. And of course a lot of what Gaia are working on I'm quite excited about. Stansted, Munich, Zurich, all of these places. Oh yeah, no, you are right, Douglas. Lisbon is due to come quarter two or quarter three of uh, 2021. Excellent news. How oh, Helsinki as well they're doing. Porto. Rovaniemi will be good for next Christmas, of course, as well. Quite eventually, yeah. There's a lot coming. There's a lot I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I'm just looking at FS Elite for, on their roadmap article. And Lisbon is on the list. Mind you, Fuerteventura, expected release quarter one this year. We're nearly at the end of that, so yeah, maybe that will be soon, hopefully. It's as if they knew I was coming, Harrison. <laughs> I think it is going to be alright. As long as uh, Meteo Blue agrees. <laughs> For you, the A320 is lagging a bit. Oh, really? That's a more. Don't the high clouds are stuttering my sim. It's smooth. Right now, it's totally smooth. It must be a stream issue if you're getting stutters, I think. Yeah, it's true. All boats have got a lot of big reductions on most things. Yeah, I'll miss the seven four as well. Ah, oh, Rome, I'll be snapping up. 
Oh yeah, you're right, they said it's 80% done back in uh, December. My gut feeling is if it's stuttering now, it's probably my internet connection that's at fault. Oh, sorry, now it's smooth, it wasn't a minute ago. I thought you meant now it was stuttering. Yeah, it could be, could be. Got plenty of freighter. Seven four seven into East Midlands. Oh really? That's interesting. Nice, that is a bargain, you can't argue with that. Both good sceneries as well. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that, Harrison. Good, I'm pleased, I'm pleased it's smoothed down. Maybe that's what I'll have to do in the future when PMDG bring their 747 across. I used to do a lot of, uh, you know, passenger flights in it, but as they aren't operating anymore, I might have to switch to some freight routes. Where are you going to fly there from, Tony? See you, Clement. Uh, see you on the next one, I hope. Yes. KJAC, I don't know. Is that Jacksonville, is it, perhaps? Oh, Jackson Hole. Cool. Yeah, no passengers on the Skypad. No charts either. But they're coming, apparently. Hello Ludwig, I'm alright, how are you?
Hello Lookman, welcome to the stream. How are you? Uh, no, I'm not using Skyforce, no. I use live weather, and if that ever fails, then I also have um, Unreal Weather installed as a as a backup, basically. Uh, thank you, Sean. We are listening to Trevor Kowalski. K-O-W-A-L-S-K-I. Good, I'm pleased, look. Right, I'm going to take a quick break again, but I'll be back shortly.
Right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> how much? How how much cheaper, Odingo? <laughs> and what? Who are you flying? You're watching my vids in bed. Oh, okay, nice, nice. shown you the map yet, have I? Let's uh, bring that up. <clears throat> and we can sort out what we're doing for our arrival as well. So here's our route. Oh, I can't connect to the simulator. That's weird. Let's restart Simlink. $30. That's quite a difference. Quite a difference. Okay, so it won't tell us where we are exactly, but we're approaching approaching the Mikkel waypoint, which is this one here. So, uh, yeah, over halfway probably. And we are planning the Marlin 5 arrival into Sydney, which looks pretty straightforward. And it thinks we want to land on runway 25, but I don't want to land on runway 25, so we'll change that to 34 left. Ooh, but we... ILS 3-4 left, there we are. Let's have a look at the approach chart a minute. Doesn't seem to take us straight in for some reason. A nice, yeah, it's a good sound, very good sound, which that is. <laughs> So what we would do, uh, probably in the real world, is would be vectored from either from one of these waypoints to a final for three, four left. Um, <clears throat> but we'll vector ourselves. It's no biggie. From Marlin to Bicus or Bicus, cross Bicus Atoll above eight thousand. Track two six four to Whale. Right, that's what we're showing. Crosswell Atoll below 9,000, track 264 to Prawn, Prawn and then Tescat and then Radar Vectors to Final. There's Prawn and there's Tessat. Okay, so they want us to overfly the airport until we get vectors. I don't think we will. I don't think we will. Let's just save this one, pin it down there, and we'll open the 3 4 left approach chart. So what we'll probably do is go to Sausage from one of these waypoints, vector ourselves around, unless there's ATC online, which seems unlikely. <clears throat> so that is the plan as things stand. Oh, you've caught up, have you, Benjamin? Awesome. Five nautical miles, I wonder if we can see you. Oh, you're at 320, I see. Are you in the clouds? Oh, yes, I can see your lights. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did. I'm sure I did. I'm sure I just caught a glimpse of strobe somewhere around here. Yes, down here. Can you see? There he is. So you're going to say it only happens if Sydney Airport is literally pumping flights. You will always get vectors before having to fly over. Yeah, I agree. Right, I see now it's probably the thing. You just selected direct to ILS. Okay, Dingo, maybe we'll do that then. Foresight Gamers, hello, hello.
Yeah, maybe we won't bother with a star. What would our route look like if we went straight to final? Yeah, we could just go from Rickney. That'd probably work better for uh, Benjamin as well, actually. It is a shame TCAS doesn't work, yeah. It's one of the best things about the CRJ, I think, that it has working TCAS. So I'm tempted to say we just fly from Tonin to our, to our uh, initial approach fixes. Sausage. Tonin to Sausage. What do you reckon, uh, Benjamin? Do I have Cityscape Sydney installed? Yes, I do. You went Optic to Sausage, right. Where's Optic? Is it that one? No, it's Marley. I don't think we've got Optic. No. Yeah, I think this is a good plan. I think this is a good plan. Okay, cool. So we'll go from... What did I say? Tonim. Tonim to Sausage. Let's get that set up before I forget. ILS 3-4 left. And we want to get rid of the star. And do we have sausage as a via? No, no via. That's fine. Okay. Insert. Go back to the flight plan. And we want to go Tonim to Sausage. So, we'll delete Rickney. Oops, wrong button. Tonim to Sausage. There we are. Done. Hopefully. Yeah, it's looking good, isn't it? Very straightforward. Nice. And what I'll do is I'll um, I'll just have to try and slow down early, and you'll have to slow down later. We'll see if we can manage a simultaneous approach. <laughs> I don't, I'd, only in Australia, Harrison, would there be a legend of that magnitude. <laughs> I believe so, Captain Campbell, yeah. I'm sure I, yeah, I've seen some previews of it somewhere. Probably on the Fly-By-Wire uh, Discord. Which will be great for um, VR, of course. The only thing is I won't be able to replay it because it doesn't record other traffic. I'll try and try and get some shots. Oh yeah, so you probably won't be going to Sausage, of course, because that's on the three, four left approach. Um, you'll probably want to go to your own IAF, which should be Endev, E N D E V. Yeah, one day I'm going to do some upgrading and get a VR headset. And it'll be a lot more appealing once we have charts in all the aircraft and, and that. Although I still don't know what I'm going to do about the chat. How I'm going to see that. Welcome back, Kurt Duarte. What's my opinion about the A380X progress? I think it's really encouraging. It looks fantastic. Good, good.
Yeah, I mean, really, if you want to ever leave Australia, you need uh, you need something of A380 size, don't you? <laughs> Unless you're going to New Zealand, of course, as we discovered today. But yeah, you'll have to pop up to uh, pop up to London and uh, well, and the rest of the world, really. The world really is your oyster, isn't it? Yeah, Emirates, Qatar. Many, many options. <laughs> no worries, Duarte. I'm glad you've, uh, glad you've found the button now. <laughs> Question, because you don't really understand. How can the CJ have charts but none of the others? Uh, CJ4 has charts because they partnered with Navigraph to integrate them, basically. I, when I say they, I mean working title. I hope you've got a good excuse for this, Harrison. <laughs> oh, Sydney to Singapore is pretty, uh, pretty good. Hello, Anish. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Riley. Yes, uh, going all right. Thanks. How's yours? <laughs> no, I bet he doesn't. Mind you, look, who am I to talk? Can't even install my own coffee cup properly. weird. I, mem I remember you thinking your monitor was at your grandparents' house. That's really odd. I hope it turns up. Oh, I didn't know that about you, Harrison. That You have got it bad. You have got it bad. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I see it was being delivered. There was someone who had a decent monitor at their grandparents' house already, I'm sure. Or a decent sim rig in, in general and couldn't, couldn't fly at home. Probably not you, though. Ah, okay, Benjamin, cool. Let's see if I can spot you. Oh yeah, yeah. You are you are almost directly underneath me. <laughs> Still gaining on me from the looks of things as well. Don't think so, Duerto. No, I think I flew X Plane 10. I think that's the last time I tried it. It wasn't for me. That is quite cool. I hope they've got it, Riley. I hope they've got it. Welcome back, welcome back. I got very confused about your bins because I thought you'd gone and then I thought you were back but I think you actually hadn't gone and we were discussing whether you were picking them up from your front doorstep. Talk us, talk us through it. Where were these bins coming from? Oh, you're joking. Oh well, there's nothing I can do about it. Hopefully it'll sort itself out. Ah well. Good. Glad it didn't last. I wonder if it had anything to do with that view and, and, and looking at the other plane, Benjamin's plane. Probably not. I can speed up a little bit if you like, Benjamin. We're doing 0.78 Mac. Probably squeeze another... Ooh, I don't know. Point naught one back out of it. Let's see. Let's try Mac point seven nine. Oh, we go for point eight. Council gives you bin bags as opposed to the traditional wheelie bin tag. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds very old fashioned. Yes, it is, right? Yeah. So have you basically had to go and buy your own wheelie bins? Uh, Mac 8's pushing it, isn't it? We're very close to that overspeed line. Hi, Matt. Oh, right. Right, <laughs> that's it, right. So you went all the way there, failed to get any bins. I should kill it because you can't recycle now. <laughs> they really have fair. Uh... Yeah, shot themselves in the foot there, didn't they? Honestly. Sort of, Dr. Roblox Strange. Sort of. Got a 
about another hour to go before we're done. Something like that. About three hours, man. <laughs> uh, uh, did anything exciting happen while you were gone? Not really. No, I don't think so. I had a cream egg. That was quite exciting. But I didn't tell anyone about that, so it so says you didn't miss out on the news. <laughs> Because your your ground speed is at point seven one is four hundred and my ground speed is three nine four. Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? That would make sense because of physics and the shape of the Earth and that. <laughs> yeah. That, would, that was the risk, that was a calculated risk. I, de I didn't want to provoke any envy, but I have, sorry. <laughs> you get a pack of five of them these days from the supermarkets, only about two quid, well worth it. <laughs> sorry, everyone. <laughs> no, no. My my moderator, there is there is no lead mod. You're all equal in my eyes. Ah, uh, yes, Lincoln. Yeah, we're we well in a simulator. We are actually. I am actually flying. Yes. I'm happy at Mac point eight. We'll keep going at Mac point eight. Yeah, if they were scones with cream and jam, definitely. It's probably better than a cream egg. Harrison's not even a mod on YouTube. Oh, that's not right. I didn't. Well, you're not a mod anywhere, are you? <laughs> Would you like to be? <laughs> I sort of just accepted you were already a mod and wanting to be chief mod, but you're not, are you? What's a UC unit? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll leave you I'll leave you with your green then. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> of a busman's holiday. This is the um, A320 Neo with the A32NX mod. Are you now, Benjamin? I guess you're a little bit ahead of me. Let's see if we can spot you again without the screen stuttering. Maybe the cloud's too thick. Yeah, they are. Yeah, it's uh, it's a great sim in terms of graphics for sure.
Oh, really? Interesting. I, I would have assumed it would stutter more from in the cockpit where all the gauges are and the views are kind of similar. Maybe it's just the sheer volume of cloud that it has to drop. Who knows, who knows. No, oh, hey, hello Tom, I didn't know you were here by the way. Welcome. No, I didn't hear about that. Ten billion dollars, that's phenomenal. <laughs> oh, you could be right, you could be right, I hadn't heard that, but that would explain it. You're sad because in your simulator there are other people but no one but your co-pilot. Ah, that's kind of the same for all of us, Lincoln. Ah, oh, yeah, no worries, no worries. You missed a crash to desktop if, as we were pushing back. Other than that, slightly scary takeoff with not, not quite as much runway to spare as we would have liked. Yeah, it's, it's kind of not... Yeah, it's not for them, is it? It's very not Microsoft. <laughs> what about wing views? Can we still do... I assume we can do wing views. Oh, hang on. What's going on? There we are. Is that alright? Yeah, exactly. Could have been worse. You're on descent now. Nice. Do you not do um, that sim, Dingo? Or are you just miles ahead? Give it a go. I'll give it a go, Benjamin. Except I couldn't see you last time I looked for you. Mm. Yeah, I don't see. I don't think it's you. I think. I think it's more likely to be the sheer volume of cloud, probably. Kaffel's been around. I, I think he's sort of only half. I think he's doing other things. And there he is. There he is. <laughs> Welcome back to Okay Style. Just on your lane to miss ever far, far away. My favourite plane is probably the Concorde, I think. So laggy for you, there we are. So we can't do outside views then. Or we can't do outside views today anyway. Really odd. I've spent all of my streams doing a lot of outside views. It's never made a difference until now. Ah, oh, well, not the end of the world. Oh, you're a bit behind, are you? Okay. Yeah, we're still very, very close looking at that spy. Pritam's a long, long way back now. Because he's in a CRJ. And he's doing 441 knots, so he's not. He might catch us up, actually, you never know. He's faster than either of us. That's alright, Kaffel, I forgive you. I forgive you. <laughs> so, Concorde was a. Um, it was a joint project between Britain and France.
you'd honestly just love to fly the A320 when you're older. Well, I hope you get there, Riley. I hope you get there. No, I don't play robots. No. Hey, Ben. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying the music. No, so British Airways and Air France both both flew them. <laughs> what sort of dog have you got, Lincoln? Lovely, I love German Shepherds. Beautiful dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. The MS the MSFS community is it well it brings shame. Brings shame to the world. <laughs> Hi Daily Life, welcome back. Hello Rodrigo. Your dog likes to come and sit under your desk and just shed hairs all over the floor. <laughs> but so much, yeah. Sh shame, but also light. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I'm alright. Thanks, Rodrigo. How are you? It's nice to have you here. I'm glad you're doing okay. I try my best, Link, and it's not, it's not always possible, but uh, there aren't too many people here today, so it's quite chilled and I can spot most of it anyway. So we should be landing at 1.57 UTC. It's 
now 1.12, so just about 50, 45, 50 minutes left, something like that. 45 minutes actually, 45 minutes, awesome. Oh, Collie and Staffy Cross, I can't picture what that looks like. And she looks like a black Labrador. Okay, you say what it looks like. Interesting. But she's afraid of her own shadow. That's a shame. Bless her. <laughs> Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay, no worries, Rodrigo. It's, it, it's not... Uh, you know, If you want to and you have the money, then do. But I certainly won't judge you for not... <laughs> work in progress. <laughs> I had a chocolate cake, Dingo. My dad baked me a, a chocolate cake with cream in the middle and some chocolate frosting on top. It was very nice. Very nice in there. Still got a bit left in the fridge. No, weather radar... Well, it's sort of operational. You can see we do have indications, but it's uh, it's not particularly accurate. <laughs> you could if you could Rodrigo you could but um, it's getting it to you that's the issue <laughs> Tony thank you very very much that's very kind of you very generous thanks I see the super chat uh, notifications are still slightly delayed but uh, good luck with the snow blowing. Hi Kevin, how are you? There it is. <laughs> Thank you. Hello Omar, welcome to the stream. I'm alright, thank you. Yeah, I'm alright, how are you? Good. I'm very well, thanks. Yeah, bit shattered, bit tired today. Don't know why. Bit of a sore throat, but no. Generally, generally, I'm all right. No, I didn't do anything with the joystick at all. Blim blim. Nothing at all. Just worked. Nice. How old will it? How old will you be, Omar? It is a nice aeroplane, yeah, it is, it is.
Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, Lincoln. You shouldn't. You shouldn't donate if you're a child. Save your money for other things. <laughs> don't feel bad about it at all. Oh my, you're 12. Ah, you're going to be 12. Nice. Nice. It's a good age. Well, happy birthday for the 30th. It's a week today, isn't it? Oh, and yours is the 31st. Dingo. Yeah, nice. Happy birthday in advance to you too. be at 3,000 feet by the time we get to Sausage. So let's do a little bit of descent planning, shall we? So we're at 38,000 feet now, which means we've got to lose 35,000 feet. 35 times 3 is 105. Add 10 to allow us time to slow down, so we should start our descent 115 nautical miles before Sausage. 115. Still got a fair, fair old way to run. <laughs> Me too, Lincoln. I think everyone does. Oh, Rodrigo, that's nice of you to say. You shouldn't. If you had five hundred pounds, you should spend that on yourself, not on me. Douglas, thank you very much. Put it towards Brandenburg. Thank you very much, Douglas. Put it towards Berlin, Brandenburg. Yeah. Good old sausage. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sausage and prawn, what others do we have around here? Probably ones that only Australians would understand. <laughs> Nothing else is jumping out. Marlin. Whale. Jacqueline. Jelly. It's definitely some kind of nautical theme with the exception of sausage. I don't know what Bicus is. I live in London, uh, in London, I'm uh... Okay, no worries, Rodrigo. No ice on descent, good, good. Well, I've only got, I've got no, had to turn all my icing off for the CRJ. So I think even if I did get covered in ice, it wouldn't have any actual effect. Uh, no, I, I don't do I don't do singing Lincoln. I'm afraid. <laughs> so I've been flying flight simulators for about twenty years, something like that. I'm just going to see what happens when I go outside. I want to know if it's fixed itself. Uh, I have Omar. Yeah, I have back in. FS2000 or around that sort of time. Not in the real world though. Zanis, hello, hello, how are you? Eric, no, apparently the, the, the weather has moved on. The coast is now Cav OK. Yeah, just double checked, it still is. No clouds at all, hopefully. Hopefully. It's smooth now, excellent. So that will remain a mystery then. 
Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. Not too bad. Too bad. Yeah, maybe. I don't have the link to hand, but it's called Bene Overlay if you want to Google it. You're right, actually, America does have quite a few um, places. Like around Florida, there are a lot of Disney characters on the approach waypoints. Any ideas for a master's dissertation topic? I think you're doing something about electric vehicles or whether HS2 should go ahead. What's your master's in? These are quite diverse subjects. Green transport? Hello Willie, how are you? No, it's free. I mean, of those two, Douglas, I'd say probably the HS2 one is a bit more neat. I mean, electric vehicles is pretty broad, I guess. Oh, sorry, it's just the chat's just jumped forward. Um, so, you're doing a Masters in Urban Transport. Okay. Anything transport related. Gosh, Urban Transport related. I don't know, it's, it's got to be something you personally are really interested in, I think, to do a dissertation. Hello Matt, welcome back, welcome back. Battling work calls a short attention span and this satanic attraction lies <laughs> in live streams. That's, you've got a lot going on, got a lot going on there. <laughs> yeah, I'm alright, I'm alright, I've got a bit of a sore throat, a bit of a sniffle. But otherwise, I'm fine. Oh, thanks, Ben. Appreciate it. No, I don't think I'll be streaming on Friday. I think the next one after today will probably be the Bimbles Around Britain Geek Flight on Saturday. I might squeeze one in on Thursday. I'll see how I feel. I've got quite a lot of other stuff to be getting on with. Yeah, it's a tough one. Maybe just, I don't know. I d I've never done a Masters, but I, I guess there's almost too much scope, too much choice. What made you want to do your Masters in Urban Transport? Ugh, bad luck, really. Yeah, that is annoying. I did, Zenis, yes, I did. Uh, what do you think would happen, Lincoln? I think you can answer that question yourself, probably. What about cycling? Cycling infrastructure is quite a big thing at the moment, isn't it? I'd be tempted to do something on that, I think. But then I probably wouldn't do a, a Masters in Urban Transport, probably. <laughs> oh, did they? I hadn't seen Prague. That's, that's exciting. Yes, quite.
we're going to go on the iPad. Okay, see you, uh, see you later on. Now I've missed a lot of news, Zanis. You're uh, very up to date with all this. In game time. Um, it'll be about half two, I think. Two thirty. Yeah. Uh, no, it's twelve twenty-seven. About twelve twenty-seven. Of course, because we've gone back two times, then, didn't we? It will be quite interesting. I don't do that sort of thing, I'm afraid, Lincoln. Any short haul routes? Well, where do you want to begin? I mean, yeah, that's an honest question. Short haul routes from where? <laughs> ah, Dingo, you're on final nice. Let us know how it is. Is it clear? Is it clear like the Meta says it should be? That's not a bad shout, really. That would be really interesting. Roots with hop from Paris Orly. Um, well, it depends if you're fussed about scenery or not. If you if you want decent add-on scenery, then really the only two that I've found are, are Toulon and um, Montpellier that have add-on scenery. Other than that, you've got Nice. Oh no, oh, oh, and um, Nantes, there's, a, there's an Air France hop flight from Nantes as well, between Orly and Nantes. Um, yeah, I don't know other than that, they, they, they fly a lot of routes around France. They are, aren't they, really? Yeah, they're lovely. Welcome back, Omar. Am I? Am I getting away from you? Check my V-Pilot. Not my V-Pilot, my Bat Spy. Bat Spy says you're still, uh, still ahead of me. Oh no, we're diverging, aren't we? I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going a bit left. Three four left approach. You're going a bit right for your three four right. Interesting. Yeah, the beaching cuts what decimated uh, the British Rail network for sure. Good, I'm glad. Lincoln, that's sad to hear. That's sad to hear. I hope life in the real world improves. Can you suggest a long haul route? Yeah, go ahead. I don't really do many long hauls, but uh, ask away. A thousand foot above and wind is 270 at 25. Okie dokie. Quite at odds with the meta, but anyway. That'll be alright. You would, rather, yeah, you would expect that, wouldn't you? You're inbound Marlin and then Endev, right? I'm inbound Sausage and then Patrat. So, yeah, that's sounding good. That's sounding good. Whether we'll get there at the right time or the same time, I don't know. 
I might start descending to your altitude, actually. That seems sensible, doesn't it? We're doing three twos. Oh, you're three four zero now. Yeah. Let's get down to three four zero. Um, probably in about, well, shortly after we land Lincoln, which will be in about half an hour. Oh, good. It's supposed to be four knots. I'll take the five. That's nice. London to Honolulu. Wow, that's a very long way. I don't think there are any direct flights there. But there is a Honolulu scenery coming out, so I'll certainly do some flights around there. Nimish, you came for the CRJ giveaway, stayed for the content. Ah, welcome back. I'm glad you stuck around. <laughs> nice to have you here. We are still pretty, pretty close, aren't we? You're doing 416 knots, I'm doing 421. Nudge that back to 0.78 then. Oh, there'll be plenty more Lincoln, plenty more streams in the future. I had a friend who worked on the um, Borders Railway reopening. It was quite a big deal, quite a big deal project. <laughs> That's magic, Lincoln. <laughs> Karem. Oh, well, I hope I hope you get round that. I hope you get round that. It's a very different sort of maths to what you do in school, I think, flying. So hopefully there'll be a way. I know, I've been there with couriers saying they'll deliver things and then not turning up and not being able to trace them. It's really, really irritating when it happens. Oh really? I didn't know that. Interesting. Let's talk descent when and at what speed. Well, I normally, um, I normally just descend in managed speed and let it slow down at the appropriate opportunity. So if we both do that, we should be okay. Three, four, zero. Uh, we need to be at 3,000 feet by our IAPs. I guess yours is the same, is it? Let's have a quick look. Oh no, you need to be at 2,000 feet at end of. That's weird. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll both descend to our uh, initial approach fixes when we need to and just try and manage our speeds to keep level. So I'll probably be starting my descent 115 miles out, I think I said. Call it 110, so not not too much longer. My next stream will be at 1400... Ooh, hang on, hang on, times are changing. It'll be at 1300 Zulu. 1400 UK time on Saturday, Lincoln. Enjoy your lunch. Oh, 
Are there any passengers on board? Yeah, there are. There are, yes. More by luck than judgment, but uh, we are, I think we're pretty neck and neck at the moment, Benjamin. Yeah, clocks are changing on Sunday. So Bimbles around Britain will be at 1400 UK time, 1300 Zulu. Got that right, haven't I? Clocks go forward, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, clocks change on Sunday. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. They change on Sunday and Bimbles is on Saturday. This is why I confused Mark, because I must have been talking about Sunday beforehand. Um, yeah, so 1300... No, 1400 Zulu. <laughs> I hate clock changes. Yeah, 1400 Zulu and 1400 UK time for the next stream. <laughs> yeah, it'd be amazing if we pull this off. I guess we probably we need to try and hit 250 knots at about the same time, don't we? Hang on, hang on. 119 nautical miles, so we'll, we'll start down pretty soon. Yeah, you're right, Douglas. You are right. You are. <laughs> it's too hard. I, uh, because I've been talking about Sunday and it's all getting confused because the clocks are changing. Um, that's what that's what threw me. So Sunday's the uh, Club Filbert Silver members only stream, and that we need to remember the clocks have changed, but we don't need to remember it for Saturday. Right, Benjamin, I tell you what I think we should do. I think we should go down to 10,000 feet now and then continue our descent when we're both down there. And I'm going to go back into managed speed mode for the descent. Oh, Karen, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying, enjoying the stream. Ugh, so annoying, really. But at least, at least it hasn't gone lost. Got lost. That's something, I suppose. Parking at International Gate 55, uh, for, those, for those who are interested. Uh, no, I'm not a real pilot, no. Do I have any flight route suggestions? Yeah, well, I, I asked where, where you want to go from, really. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of great routes. Um, I'm a big fan of London to Dublin, London Gatwick to um, uh, to Vienna's good, Gatwick to um, Zurich's good. Depends where you where you want to start off from. Really. If you give me a starting point, I'll, I'll try and think of a real world route from there.
Right, let's get properly set up for the approach. You have control. I have control. Oh, now I've got stutters in the sim. Please don't crash. Uh, it's really suddenly very stuttery. I've done a bit of flying uh, in South America, Mariana. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> So, perf, next phase. Oops, previous phase. So the QNH is 9098. Temperature's 19. And the wind should be 2604. We'll use 11,000 as the well, flight level 110 as the transition level. And our minimums are going to be 220. They've changed this page, haven't they? If we go to the Radnav page, we'll put the ILS frequency in, which is 110.1. Oh, it's already in there. Nice. Is that it? I think that's it. I have control. You have control. Oh, is it, he probably run out of fuel, the guy in the CRJ, I imagine. <laughs> no, I don't know any Turkish, I'm afraid. Yeah, that FPS drop, but it... Yeah, some people seem to have it all the time, and I, it's very just once in a while for me. It's very frustrating, anyway. Hello, tech team. Welcome to the stream. How much longer? You can have a look at the bar at the top, Rodrigo. It'll tell you. Just approaching 20,000 feet, so I'm going to turn the seatbelt sign on. Give them time to prepare the cabin. So I am now 22,000, and so are you, Benjamin, more or less. Incredible. Oh, the CRJ guy's still there on um, on Bat Spy. Pritam. Yeah, I really hope they fix it, Scott. I really hope they fix it. I'm sure they will. We must have faith in a sober. <laughs> yes, this is true. This is true. But we must have pressed the buttons at the same time as well. So after we get to 10,000, that's 7,000 feet left for me to descend and 8,000 feet left for you to descend. So I guess if we sync up at 10,000 and then continue on down, it should still be 
pretty reasonable, hopefully. Oh, thank you, Tech Team. Maybe had to disconnect and reconnect for some reason. I've tried the A330 and I don't find it particularly realistic, to be honest. I think it'll get there, but it's not, it's not there yet. I haven't tried the 321. This is turning into quite the YouTuber loving, isn't it? Hello, Herbie. <laughs> I can't. I can't quite bring myself to say oi, oi, oi. I'm afraid. <laughs> I haven't quite got the energy. How are you, anyway? Uh, what was I going to do up here? I was going to turn some anti-ice on. Because just because I've got visual only set in the sim for the sake of the CRJ doesn't mean we need to get sloppy. Oh, Benjamin! Club Filbert Silver as well. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for your support. And uh, if you're on Discord, I can't remember if you are or not, make sure you let me know your username on here and there and I'll make sure you get the right roles. London to one of the Greek islands is a good shout. It's a good shout. I particularly like Cos if you've got uh, Gaia Simulations scenery. That's probably my favourite of the Greek islands. So we're passing through the transition level. So we'll set the local pressure. Which should be 998, and it is. Live weather is correct there. And a bit of an abrupt halt at 10,000 feet with that. Um, Benjamin, shall we... Benji Patch, thank you. Shall we... Slow down to 250? Oh, Twos and Fitter has just followed but on Twitch and I don't stream there anymore. But if, in the off chance of you catching it, thanks for the follow. Um, so 7,000 feet to lose, about 21 nautical miles to lose it, so we've got loads of time. Let's slow down shortly to 250 and then we'll go down further. I'd be amazed if this works out. <laughs> It'd be awesome. <laughs> if I was having a Barbie Riley, I absolutely would. That's interesting. Don't stream on Twitch for uh, at least three months, and people will still follow you. Oh, you're at 250. Christ, okay. Mine hasn't slowed me down, I'll do it now. Does that mean I'm ahead of you now, or has it not made too much difference? Oh, the guy in the um, CRJ is overtaking us. I 
I think after this track we'll, uh, we'll kill the music for the sake of concentration. Got flight oh, I haven't got flight recorder ready, thank you. I'll do that now. Every time I forget that. Every time. <laughs> right, that's now ready. The pizza is not here, but now you've said that the pizza might come after I finish. <laughs> yeah, see how Jay is magic. Um, yeah, I guess we'll start down just before just before twenty nautical miles. You're turning left towards me in nine nautical miles. Are you? Okay. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense from your routing. No, I haven't ordered pizza, but I might. Quite fancy pizza now. Pretty clouds, eh? Pretty clouds. You've ordered pizza, have you? Nice. Your landing was completed successfully. You got off the captain. Good, good, good. Good. <laughs> Uh, good. Right. Uh, when was about 290 at 2, the last few hundred feet? Oh, perfect. We can cope with that. So I think, so I've got about 30 nautical miles to run to the IAF. So I think I'm going to go down to 3,000 now. Oh, you must, Herbie. It's really good. It's really good. And, and you must get the Fly Temper Airport as well to go with it. Let's go back into managed speed mode. And then hopefully it'll slow us down to green dot speed at the right time. Stick the old landing lights on. <laughs> I know, right? I know. Anyway, we won't, we won't say any more on that. Just back from school too. Ah, welcome Alex, welcome. Nice to have you here. Do click the old subscribe button. We link KFSO when they do parallel landings and one of the aircraft joins from the right. Well, I'm going to have to have a look at a chart to make sense of that, aren't I? Oh, like KSFO. Like, right, yeah, I get it. Yes, it will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, uh, yeah, I have the mind of a child. What can I say? <laughs> uh, so I think we're all right. I think we're going all right. Let's have a quick look at that spy again. Yeah, Pritam in his CRJ has overtaken you, Benjamin. You watch out for him. He's, I mean, he's too high, I think. Probably so high he's going to have to go around again. To 18,000, but he is ahead of you. I'm at 9170, you're at 9990. Exciting! Thank you for the sub. If anyone else hasn't subscribed, I should probably um, should probably say this. Do please click the subscribe button and uh, the thumbs up button while you're down there as well. If you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, it's fine. <laughs> Start my stream at 1700. That is the worst time of day for me, Kami. So um, I won't be doing that, I'm afraid. It's true, but it's true, actually, yeah. Yeah. Little lab map is good for that sort of thing. Right, let's do our approach checklist. Approach checklist. Briefing. Confirmed. ECAM status. Checked. Barrow ref. Zero nine nine eight set. Zero nine nine eight set. Minimum. Engine mode selector. Normal. Approach checklist complete. Turn on our LS button.
Oh, that doesn't sound good, Stanislav. I haven't, I haven't experienced that myself. I think it is, Herbie, yeah. I think it is. It's, it's a lot, lot better than the... Um, a Sobo handcrafted one. But I guess it depends how much, how often you're going to fly there, really, doesn't it? If it's going to be once in a blue moon, then you might be better off saving your money. I don't know. But I like it. That's all I'll say. I, I like it a lot. Yeah, that's what he's, uh, yeah, yeah, Sydney's what he's talking about. So I'm going to slow down a bit because you've got a bit of a dog leg to do. Flaps I'm going to, I'm going to get checks. flaps one out. I think. Flaps one. This is one. guesswork. I've never done this before. Because I'm more or less straight in and you've got to come left and then in, so I sort of feel I need to slow down. Yeah, the CRJ is great. It is great. I haven't, Alex, actually, no. Hello again, Simpansy. So we've got our uh, ILS in range now, or localizers in range anyway. Oh yes, clearing up ahead. This is going to be nice, I feel. Now let's see if we can see Benjamin. Should be somewhere over here. <laughs> I can't guarantee it'll work, but I'll do my best. Yeah, if you yeah, if you're going to use it a lot, it's definitely worth it. So you're heading straight for me at the moment, aren't you? Can't see any lights. But this is this is a beautiful looking approach with these low clouds, I love it. They're way off to the north of the approach. You, what the other Benjamin and the other guy you mean? I think you're right, he's but they're well, the other guy The other guy I don't know what he's doing but he's too high. Benjamin is sort of making a left turn to head towards me onto the approach. Don't know. Oh, I didn't know, didn't know uh, the airport was discounted. Oh, there you are. You're 15 nautical miles away, oh, okay. Yeah, that's a fair old distance, isn't it? I'm all right, Alice. Thank you for the offer. I'm not. I'm not that into models. I don't know why. I know it normally comes with the territory, but I've never been that fussed by them. So I am five nautical miles from Sausage at the moment. Not that that will mean much to you. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful water, beautiful clouds. I think he's below the clouds though, Karen. I think. You know, I'm going to start flight recorder here because why not? We might want to enjoy the whole approach. 
Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> there might be a landing, there might indeed ribbon. With a bit of luck, there will be. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're quite far behind now, aren't you? Right, let's get flaps, flaps two out and Speed the gear checked. down. Flaps you're two. Down. Gear down. Another bit of stuttering. Quite a lot of stuttering, in fact. Oh well. Flaps three. Speed checked. Can you see me? Awesome. Flaps I'll do my best, three. careful. I'll do my best. Oh, that sounds spectacular, Alex. I'd love to move to Cyprus right now. <laughs> No, I still can't see you. I don't know why. Hundred and two likes. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the likes. Bet you might let down do my best. Hello, Craig in Atlanta. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Mary. I hope you do get to travel here one day. Flaps full. Speed checked. Right, Flaps let's get full. everything set up. Cabin crew, be yes. seated for landing. So we're fully configured, which will hopefully mean Benjamin gets to catch up. I hope. Still, still a little behind. I don't know why I can't see him. Anyway, I'm as slow as I can go, so I think we'll just have to hope for the best. Landing checklist. Cabin crew. Oh, I'm on better announce. Sydney traffic, Jetstar 224, nine mile final, runway 34 left. You've been to London? Cool. Did you like it? How high did I go? Uh, we were at flight level 380 today, 38,000 feet. Checked. <laughs> yeah, it's not a great time to come to the UK at the moment, I don't think. <laughs> Weather's disappeared just to eliminate any excuses I might have about bad landing. Well, we have got a little bit of a wind, Ben. We've got a bit of a crosswind, 23 knots at the moment, I'm afraid, so well, we'll see. Advised. Auto Ah, uh, that'll be Benjamin. Okay, so he's only a little behind. Seven, eight miles, something like that. Are you still speeding? <laughs> Speed. Auto brake. Low. Ecam memo. I knew about leaving the engines running. I did not know about staying in the cockpit looking down. But I'll do that, thank you. Right. Landing no We should do some Landing auto checklist break, complete. Struth. That sound. Okay, good. Right, nothing nothing for it now but to land the plane. In the meanwhile, we'll keep a lookout for Benjamin. Because he won't replay, sadly. Actually, do you know what? If you have flight recorder, Benjamin, and we're a bit naughty and don't disconnect from Vatsim, we could actually sync up our landings, potentially, I think. <laughs> <laughs> 250 knots now, right? Good luck. Godspeed. Wing views, wing views will be, will be incoming, Caffel, don't you worry. Huh? There we are, I can have a little bit now, but mostly, mostly we'll save them for the replay. 
<laughs> I know you do, Ben. That's what makes it all the more upsetting when it goes wrong. <laughs> Checked. Alright, I'm going to concentrate now. You can see the old CBD over there in the distance. Has Harrison gone to bed, Dingo? I'm very disappointed in him if he has. I haven't heard from him for a while. Well, the crosswind's dropped off a little. <laughs> Welcome back, Kemi. When did Butter... I don't know. I don't know, Willie. I, I only heard it since I started streaming. And I didn't know what people were on about initially. Greaser is more of our generation, I think. Yes, flight recorder's on. Yeah, it's recording. Just double Yeah, it's recording. Oh, Morris, not now. Got another excuse now. Feline cockpit incursion. Right. Autopilot off. Let's do this. Hundred above. Three hundred. No, Morris, go away. Minimum. Continue. One hundred. Little high according to the papas, a little low according to the glide slope. Spoilers. Reverse hmm. grid. Decel. <laughs> not the not the butteriest, but certainly not the worst. Yeah, he does. He does. And we'll exit here on this high speed. Seventy knots. Churned butter, yeah. <laughs> okay with that. Oh, and we've frozen. And we're, let's see if we can spot Benjamin. There's no one else about, so there's no reason not to hold here for a little while, I think. Sydney traffic, Jetstar 224, clear of runway 34 left. Right, what was I going to do? I'm going to take the drone over to the other runway threshold in the hope of catching it. Oh, we missed him. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Never mind. It nearly worked. It nearly worked. <laughs> right, let's do some taxiing. Flight crew A320. Start the APU, turn the landing lights off, taxi lights already on, turn the strobes off, turn off the uh, weather radar and the predictive wind shear warning. And we'll do the uh, after landing checklist. After landing checklist. Flaps. Retracted. Spoilers. Disarmed. APU. Start. Radar. Off. Predictive wind shear system. Off. After landing checklist complete. Oh, you don't turn the APU bleed on until the APU has started. Don't think there's anyone around to talk to, so we won't talk to anyone. Was it 371? Are you serious? No, it can't have been. Where did you get that from? I'm not on Volanta. Okay, where are we parking? 55 I said, didn't I? How do we get there is what I really mean. We want to turn left on Golf. Which I think is this one. Yeah, it looks golfy, doesn't it? Oh, that's not particularly accurate, Zenis. That's not for landings, it's more just for whether you're climbing or descending.
And then we're going to turn right on Yankee to the International 5 apron, which I think is this one here. Yes, International 5, I saw the sign. Yeah, I'd go with 180, Willie. I think that's about right. Ah, there's always some you dislike, it doesn't matter. And it should be that 55 is the second one in on here. Yes, I think that's right. Turn the taxi light off. Taxi light off. Here we are. And this is where I really wish I had my track IR working. <laughs> Morris, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Anyway, as I always say, FPM is not a measure of a good landing. <laughs> not bad, not bad parking. And there he is, the man himself. <laughs> e Superfly, don't you worry. I don't have Volanta open, sadly. Because when I when the sim crashed, I closed as much as I could. Right. So now we're parked up. APU bleed on. We've got external power connected already. That's nice. Engines off. Seatbelts off. Close the stupid logbook thing. Fuel pumps off. And beacon off, and we'll do the checklist. Parking checklist. APU bleed. Oh, I wasn't supposed to shut off. my engines, engines down because I was doing the replay. It's all right. I'll restart off. them. Seat belts. <laughs> off. Exterior lights. Set. Fuel pumps. Off. Parking brake and chocks. On and in. Parking checklist complete. Exactly, Tom. Exactly. <laughs> Right, I'll catch up with your chat, and then uh, I'll restart the engines, and we'll have a look at the replay. And then you can you can reassess my landing once again. Speedbird 2037, yes, I'm good, thank you. Is this going to be the week of the return flight from Cos to Bristol with EasyJet? It's not, I'm afraid, no. This is my last stream till Saturday, and then I've got uh, my Bimbles Around Britain group flight then, and my uh, Club Philbert members only stream on Sunday so that's going to be it for this week I think I've answered the rest my man literally exited the runway at 60 knots indeed it's a high speed uh, exit that's precisely what they're there for um, <laughs> the rest I think is mostly just about my landing rate uh, you'd like to ask if you've inserted a flight plan in the MCDU do you need to request ATC IFR Clearance, yes, you do. Not a bad flight, thank you, Riley. I'll faint praise, but I'll take it. <laughs> Indeed, Scott, yeah, whether the passengers whelp or not. <laughs> uh, never a stream without the stupid logbook thing, no. Ah, yeah, when I shut the engines off. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine, we'll restart them. Uh, didn't know. No, as I say, Zanis, I, I didn't. I closed Volanta after the crash to desktop. Okay, right, that's me caught up. We'll uh, dis. Hello, Kai. <laughs> You're just in time to see the replay. Going to disconnect from VATSIM. Um, so goodbye to Benjamin. Thank you for flying with me. And uh, thank you for joining Club Filbert as well. Hopefully, you're still watching. Don't know why I'm being quite so formal about saying goodbye to you. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to restart the engines on stand, and uh, then we'll do the replay. And we're going to start them both together. Because, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound.
It's all right, you'll see the replay. You'd imagine 10 years from now an ADS-B is fully adopted. Flight plans may well be submitted. Yes, yeah. Yes, I've got a feeling, I might be wrong about this, but I've got a feeling that often they are pre-filed and then downloaded to the a MCDU from ACAS and the clearance is all sort of done as part of that so you don't actually have to ask for it over the airwaves. Fausto, I'd love to do that flight, but there is no decent add-on scenery at the moment for either Buenos Aires or Santiago de Chile. Uh, when there is, and I'm sure there will be, then I would love to do that. Sounds great. Matt, I've given you so many. I don't know why you're still asking for flight suggestions. <laughs> um, when you've inserted, why does the ATC always mess? Are you talking about the in-sim ATC? Because it's very, very broken. I don't know, Kai. It's amazing, isn't it? Uh, was it just you or when the development version glitched? Oh, there was an there was an issue with the installer, I believe, with the A three two NX. I'm uh, off, Benjamin. I'm off. Why aren't my engines starting? Do I not have the APU bleed on? I'm sure I do. Ah, oh, my fuel pumps are off. That's why. <laughs> oh dear. We'll get there. There we are. Now we've got engine starts going on. No worries, Kami. No worries. <laughs> I hope so. Does it, Mariani? Ah, oh, check that. Check that out. Is there a way to not use the ATC? Yeah, just just turn the sound down in your settings and forget about them. I've I don't I haven't used it for months and months and months. Okay, so that's two engine starts. I'm not interested in uh, the the brake temperatures for a replay. Turn the brake fan on if we want to, but I don't think we will. Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's see if flight recorder works. So you suggested Dingo staying in the cockpit looking down so I'll try this and then replay and we're back in business flight was about three hours something like that so I presume people would like some wing views and perhaps perhaps some views from the ground as well I don't think we need to start all the way back here, so I'm going to pause the replay, wind it forward. I'm going to try the old looking down trick again. That should be okay. Which side, which side, right or left? Is my crew add-on turned off? Uh, it, it doesn't do anything once I've, uh, once I'm out of that phase of flight. I still haven't turned off the uh, announcements though. Did the brakes go on there? I don't, I didn't see, possibly. Right, right, left, left. <laughs> Dingo said if you look down, it tends to avoid problems. We're going with right. We'll see uh, see the uh, parallel runway this way. Don't see. Don't see. Don't see. Whichever side Don't you can see. see the terminal. See. Well, we sort of touch down Don't and taxi see. off before the Don't terminal, see. so we'll start with Don't right. See. Don't see. Don't see. Both, all right, all right. <laughs> Don't see. Don't see. A little music and we're golden for the Don't outro. See. I should do an outro, Don't actually. See. I should sort that. Careful. Was it you who told me how to turn off the um, GPWS and other announcements from the cabin? Someone did, and I've forgotten. Hello, Cameron. It's only during the replays that don't sing. <laughs> don't sing. Don't sing. 
if my track IR was working, I could customize this wing view beautifully, but it isn't, so I can't. Anyway, we'll have a we'll have a we'll have a view from here. We'll have another view from the left wing. Then we'll have an outside view, and then I'll go and have a little lie down. Oh yeah, that turns the whole thing off, doesn't it? But there was a way to. Someone told me a way to turn off like, all the altitude callouts and everything from within the cabin. I'll look into it at a, after the stream. <laughs> I'm doing my best, Maka. I'm just a passenger now. You know, there's only so much you can do. Yeah, there are Ben. There are. You can turn off the GPWS. That's not a problem. But it's all. I'd quite like to get have the altitude callouts gone from the cabin as well. And there, someone said there was a way to do that. Oh, it's the outside views, not the cabin views. Okay. Major stutters at touchdown, but pretty nice, I feel. Pretty nice. Okay, let's go into the cockpit and uh, and turn off the GPWS. And now we'll go back again and look at it from the other wing. You're thinking 150 now. <laughs> it would be scary. <laughs> Don't sink in the cabin, it's true. Have I ever played airplane mode? I don't know what you mean, Omar. Yeah, but I don't want no engine sounds, DH simulations. That would ruin it completely. I love it. See, this is the beauty. This is the beauty of Flight Recorder. Everyone can analyse every aspect of every landing. <laughs> I, I probably won't do a VATSIM tutorial, no, um, Joel, because there are so many good ones out there already. I recommend aviationpro.nl. Um, he's got a YouTube channel and he, he covers everything. He's been doing it for years. 100. I've told you it's not accurate. It's, it, that is for when you're climbing and descending, not for when you're touching down. Fine. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> Yeah, that's the idea, Oma. That is the idea. Hello, Southwest 116. You're, you've missed the flight, but you're in time for one more replay. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait till we get to the uh, exit. And then we'll go back once more. I haven't watched British Aft Geeks, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they're like. I just know where I learnt, and that was from Aviation Pro. Right, bit of a stutter again there, an unnecessary pause. Pause replay, back in the cockpit, and we'll go back to there. And then before I hit resume, I'm going to set up the drone somewhere nice. Like the runway threshold, and we'll have one last look at it. I've done quite a few easy jet flights. I'm sure I'll do plenty more. Not next time, no. Next, next live stream is going to be on Saturday, and it's a, a VFR group flight in the Cessna. Right, last one, last one from here. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what I'm going to do? There. <laughs> now, now we don't have to have this same conversation a fourth time. <laughs> uh, right, drone follow mode. We'll turn that off. Come down to sort of person height. Zoom in a little bit. And away we go. 1,000. Be up from the bay. Oh, that would be quite cool, actually. Oh, did you? Yeah. It's the sim update, I'm sure. I'm sure. 
What about Wizz Air? I am, I've done quite a few Wizz Air flights as well and I'm sure I'll do some more. Yeah, I hope so. Is the next update in a week? I, I, I've lost track a little bit. You can't in the A320 M chose. The only plane that currently has T, TCAS working is the CRJ. It does, Benjamin, it does, but I thought we could still sort of be roughly at the same time. I mean, we, we got close. Relative, we, yeah, we weren't that far apart. Just not quite close 40, enough. 30, yeah, I'm too used to flying the CRJ. I didn't flare enough. But still, main gear's down at the same time, I think. I think, Willie. <laughs> yeah, illegal plane spot of you. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's still, it's very, it wasn't this stuttery when we weren't using flight recorder. Um, let's just do a bit of that. Already done one, little mouse. Already done one. No radar in the fly-by-wire yet. No, no. Uh, that little battery. I think so, Tom. I think so. Flare was all right. I think I could have done with a tiny bit more. It was a bit of a thump. It wasn't 341 feet per minute worth of thump, but it was a little bit of a thump. <laughs> no worries, my host. Thank you for the sub. If anyone else hasn't yet subscribed, I would urge you to do so. And uh, click the thumbs up button as well if you've enjoyed the video. Uh, let's watch the taxi in, I think, and then we'll, oh, we'll call it a day. Just going to wind it on until we start moving again. I'll do. <laughs> I think you're right, Willie. I think you're right. <laughs> You second Inverness. All right, I'll add in. I have a, I have a very, very long list of flights. I, I do like Inverness, though. So maybe at some point we can do the uh, Heathrow to Inverness shuttle. How's that? When will we see the long haul? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't forgotten about it. I will do it. Um, I just don't have time at the moment. Need to fly in Germany. Yeah, I haven't been to Germany for a little while. It's true. Especially with Berlin Brandenburg out now, I'm pretty sure I'll stream a flight to there at some point soon. <laughs> Thank you, Daryl. <laughs> oh dear. All right, I'll add I'll add that to the list. Yeah, there's a choice actually, isn't there? There's the EasyJet flights from Gatwick and the BA ones from Heathrow. I'll see how I feel. Yeah, I haven't been to Copenhagen or Newcastle for a while, other than in the Cessna. Um, been to New yeah, that's where we ended up the last group flight. All right, good luck, Riley. Good luck. Yeah, but my OCD won't let me do it, Tom. <laughs> it is very good. Yeah, I love. Yeah, it's one of their better ones, I think. I ha uh, in the sim, you mean, or in real life? In real life, no. In the sim, yes, I have. 
but I do have plans to go to Vegas and tour some of the national parks and that while I'm while I'm out there as well whenever this pandemic finally comes to an end right well welcome to Sydney I hope you've enjoyed the flight I am going to call it a day here um, I know a lot of you it's well past your bedtime those of you in Australia so thank you for sticking with this uh, well one of you at least dingo um, as for your compatriot the less said the better <laughs> next live stream as I say will be on Saturday probably although I might squeeze one in on Thursday next confirmed live stream is Bimbles Around Britain on Saturday details will be posted on here and on my discord in due course so I hope to see some of you there otherwise hope to see you on another flight quite soon uh, thanks for joining and I'll see you later bye bye